Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl in that. And it's your boy, Stanley. Power Book 4 for season one, episode eight. Yeah, my. He ain't have it, baby. They came with it this week. Oh, yeah. I was, well, episode eights are always mm. like the, yeah. the little sweet spot for, yeah. And, and then like we talked about in the comments, episode seven was a good setup for episode mm -hmm. eight this week. It really like, was. Yeah, man. So it's like you said, it was like. Excellent episode this yeah, week, man. Kept us glued. As a matter of fact, I kept having the wine parts back. Yeah, like, just, just make sure I ain't miss nothing, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, boy. So the episode oh, started God. off. Yeah. <laughs> the episode started off where we remember when Tommy had gave the Dahlia to the two crews. And so now he's coming back telling them it's going to cost you 55 k for a, a brick. brick. Now, they was a little hesitant at first. Uh, when they found out that he actually lowered the quality, but it's still the same because they don't glow no more. Yeah. So when they tried it, he was like, oh, it's still good. It's, it's still good. So they started buying mad keys. And like when we talked about last week, we was like, we know that once Dahlia really gets to going, that Tobias is going to be falling. Yep. And that definitely happened on this episode, which we're going we're gonna to talk gonna about. Get but before we get there, we're going to talk about Mr. Walter. All of oh. us thought that Walter he was, was ready. getting ready to die. Yeah. But the doctor tells Walter that he still got plenty more time, but they need to deal with that spot that's, that was on the x-ray. And I was I like, said, God darn, so we're going to still have yeah. Walter for a little while longer, man. Or are we? Because he does not seem to be taking orders from anyone no. about his, um, his future <laughs> health care. Right. But the crazy thing was when the doctor told him that he had plenty of time, why he looked disappointed yeah. like like he was like he was anticipating on leaving up out of here like, I, like come on doc, I thought you were gonna say I only got like a couple weeks and I'm out of here. But he went like through a range of emotions like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, like yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I really got to stick around here, yeah. like I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> like I do got a few more years, maybe. Yeah. You know, you in the industry where you could be taken out at any moment. Yep. So, in this episode, also, we see that JP is still going through it, man. Man, it's just getting worse, man. Yeah, it's like one thing keeps piling on top of another. So, we see him and Tommy were wrecking in the house. And in this episode, Tommy and them is having trouble because they basically burning out Liliana and, um, and, and Scientist Bay on making all this value because that value is, the demand is super high. Mm -hmm. So, they need somebody else to cook. So Tommy is like, we need somebody that we can trust. That's real scientific. So when he was numbers. talking about it, I thought about JP. But I know y'all was saying that Tommy mm -hmm. is not going to let JP nowhere near the business because of what happened with family back in New York. But we all know that when Tommy, want, Tommy wants to be in business for himself, it's, so nobody yeah. is off limits. Now, he'll be hesitant, but eventually mm -hmm. he will give yeah, in. Yeah, he'll do the safer option. To get you in the business. Right. He'll put you in the front. He'll put you in the back. Yes. Yes. So, he offered JP to cook. Because we remember JP said last week he used to sell a little something. And he used to cook. So, I want to know what he sold. Because he said he won't know weed. He won't know weed. Yeah. <laughs> what was it, JP? What was it? So I'm definitely interested in seeing like where that's going to go. Because mm -hmm. Tommy had presented it to Liliana. That I want my brother to come in to help cook. And I want you to let tell nobody knows that this is my brother but me and you. And she was like, How is a, a lily white, <laughs> blue eyed white boy? We're going to convince them this is not your brother. But at the time, <laughs> she didn't know said, it. <laughs> Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's black. <laughs> so, so once JP came around, Liliana is all up in her feelings. Said, say my name say again. My name. I said, you know. Liliana. <laughs> she was like, ooh. I said, you know, you know he, he don't like women. So, yeah. women <laughs> so every time he would say something, boy, she, ooh, ooh. ooh and Tommy was like, y'all need to stop this skip. <laughs> you know, if we, if we going in a family tree or we doing business. <laughs> and they said both. Yep. <laughs> So now, I well, I guess if I, we're going to find out if Liliana keep on pushing up on JP, he might forget. Yeah. And just going on there and hit that. What you think? You think he going to hit it? Hey, he, he said he done been there before. He said he just, hey, he said he long stroking the long way. <laughs> I stand accused of love. There we go. 
Alright, so JP is in. He's cooking, like you said, Tommy told he's him. He's learning to that, Yeah, he's learning, and Tommy said, this is where you're going to be where it's safe, and that's where you're going to stay. I said, okay. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. I said, we're going to see how, how far that go. Mm -hmm. Also in this episode that Claudia was telling Tommy that she wants CBI to be a part of Dahlia. But Tommy was like, no, we have to wait until Jannard and Diamond basically be on the same page. But right. AKA Diamond mm -hmm. saying that he wants to push this. Because if not, we're going to do nothing but create a war. And it's going to become a problem for us. Because yeah. Claudia don't understand that. She was like, well, we just give them the drug. And they yeah, just they just sold out their own problem. He was like, it don't work it don't that work way. Like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it don't ever work that way. So which... She's smart and everything, but she still don't know She's the game. Sheltered. Yeah, she don't know the game because Walter kept kept her sheltered. Because he didn't want her to know shite. Yeah. So Tommy said, once Diamond get on board, we good. Why is she going to go behind Tommy's back, go <laughs> and talk to Diamond? Yeah. And Diamond was actually smarter than that. Was oh, like, yes, wait a minute. Because uh, she offered him like 10%. 10%. And, and he, he said, was like, no. He yeah. said, if you're offering me 10%, that means that you have partners. partners. Yep. And if you are coming to offer me 10, that means that they don't know that you're here. Yep. And Which I means said, that's going to be problems. And he was like. And that's what I don't want. <laughs> and he opened the door and was like, you got to go. And they were saying, he's like, is it Dahlia? <laughs> and she walked away. I said, everybody got the answers they wanted in silence in right. that moment. But that proved to Claudia why Tommy said, I'm waiting for Diamond to give a yes. So look at Diamond. Look how loyal yeah. he is. He wasn't willing to overstep who was on the other side to get in that deal. Even though he know that's the best drug on the street right now. Man, that, I like how you put that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, maybe Diamond ain't as slow or not knowing as we didn't know about Adrian. So yeah. he, he confronted Adrian was like, you know, what's your angle? I know who you are. <laughs> yeah. And so Adrian had to tell him that um, that night at the, at the diner, I wasn't there to meet you. I was there to meet Elijah for an interview. I was Sad. like, hmm. Are we lying on the dead? So I'm like, uh, I said, I don't know if Elijah would have did that. But yeah, because Elijah was very, like, mellow. Right. Even kill, like, very loyal to Jannard, at least. Right. Why would she, why would he go and have an interview with? Yeah, so that was that yeah. made no sense to me. So she was like, "You was never the target. You was never my target, but my boss is your target. You know, you are boss's target. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I was like, I don't. I, it, I, I, that ain't I don't well with know me. if I believe it or not. Yeah. But uh, I mean, y'all let's know what y'all think. Yeah, because even he looked at her like Elijah. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't know if he knows Elijah like that because Elijah was. With Jannard while he was on the inside. Right. So, I don't know. Yeah. All right. So, Jannard wants to know who is the person that's that's behind <laughs> this Dahlia. So, he put out uh, <clears throat> he put out a bid that um, to, um, well, we're going to call him Reggie. <laughs> it's Reggie. Forever yeah. Reggie. Reggie and his other dude was like, if y'all can find out who's behind this Dahlia, I'll give y'all 20, 20 bands. And so they are. It's like say less. <laughs> so they came back and said, "Bet we know who it is. It's the pilgrims." He said, "The pilgrims." <laughs> the pilgrims. So he said, "I'm to believe that these cats came in on a Mayflower and started selling." I, I'm I'm confused. And the dude was like, "You know the dudes with the hats, the long coats and long beards." <laughs> he mean, he said, "You mean the Jews?" <laughs> I'm not gonna laugh because just last like, week I called them the. <laughs> And let me explain. Let me explain. I have been on this donut kick all week long. This is Yoda. Look it up. The food truck comes around, Virginia. And I was out there with the Amish that week. Yep. And in my mind, for some reason, I Amish. knew it was Jew, but I said Amish. Amish. I don't know. And somebody was like, did she say Amish? I, was, I, I love that y'all be so perfect. But... <laughs> Yeah, over here, we be making mistakes. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, we do. You stick around, they're going to keep happening too, man. Yeah, and we're going to buck up a name every time. Yup. Every time. Y'all want us especially to do... Especially me. Especially me. I'm going to buck it up. Y'all want us to do that Young and African show? Ain't no way. I'm yeah. not going to get the names right. <laughs> For that, I can't do it. But it's a good show, though. It's cool. Yeah, it's a good show. I, I like what I've seen so far. It's love and hip-hop. Yeah. African style. So, like we said, that once Dahlia hit the street, some bodies are going to be saw. I told y'all that earlier. So, now that 
um, Jannard think he knows who's behind it, which they are not behind it. Mm -hmm. He goes after them, said, and he no. end up end up killing one of them. I said, so, "Do you want them problems?" Right. So, <laughs> and after he killed them, he end up taking it, taking the information back to what you call the cuz over there in Gary, <laughs> with the good eye. And the bad but, at the same time. But this is the deal because at first. Um, he was like, I don't want this designer skit. You know, we, we, we pushed the real skit over here until they tried it. Is, it's you know, like, that, is that doom that always gets you, man. <laughs> so, after they, so after they had that doom moment, he yeah, was like, we want this. He was like, how much is it going to cost us? He said, nothing. The only thing I need you to do is that when I call, I need you to come to, to, to Chicago and shoot everybody to stand away between this and us. And I, I was said, like, oh, yeah. no. Yup. <laughs> and see, that's why that's why Diamond don't want mm -hmm. Janar in control is because of that. You, you are, you, this new drug is just coming and you want to drop bodies already. Yep. And put all your money behind it. Because when, yeah. when Diamond was having a conversation, it's like, hypothetically, if you could change some things, what is it that you would change? He said he would put all, all of his money, money behind, behind Diamond. Yep. And Diamond was like, wait a minute. But this is something that hasn't even been proven. Like, we don't even know the effects of it or whatnot. I said, boy, yeah. Diamond, you do more research and, and thoughtfulness than the FDA. Yeah. The <laughs> FDA will be like, go ahead and eat this. And then next week later, uh -huh. if you have eaten lettuce between the, the dates of March 1st and March 31st. And you, you, you can no longer <laughs> sneeze or skip. Call this number right here. <laughs> you may have me so <laughs> Did I buy less? Right. <laughs> All right. So, oh, oh boy, that's the um cop for the Flynn family. We see that this other cop rose up on him that know that he's working for the Flynn, and he was like, you know, I'm I'm doing this because I'm trying to take care of my sister, and so this dude was like, you know, both of us are basically in the same spot. We on the same side of the blue line. You know, you got to take care of your sister, and I want a house in such and such and such and such place. And I was like, that's not the same, bro. But <laughs> not anyway. <laughs> um, and he was like, I need 50 bands from this. No, he said, how much? Yeah, he said, how much is the Flynn's paying you? And, and he I was said, like, 100K. I was like, you like, why he lying? You never tell nobody. You don't tell people what you make. <clears throat> you don't tell people what nobody don't pay you. That's just that's just being black. You know that. <laughs> but but at the same time, I know we can say that sitting from this position, but if that was our job on the line and that he could tell that and that could put you in prison forever, you tell the truth. I don't know. I, I would have I would have finagled the numbers. I don't I, I don't know. But uh <laughs> everything kind of worked out in his favor because the next time that he met back up with Vic. Vic told him that I need you to find out who's behind this new drug. <laughs> and he was like, I want double. For I want double. He was like, I'm, I'm, already, I'm all the head. So he got 200 G's. So I'm like, no, it worked out because that cop told him, said, you good at getting paper. Mm -hmm. Which he really not. But no. it just so happened to work out in his favor. Mm -hmm. And I said, boy, you just don't pay this man a whole lot of money. To, and it's your family. It's yeah, your it's your family. family. Yep. <laughs> all right. So let's talk about Walter a little bit more. Uh, so, Walter decides that he wants to meet with Claudia because he wants to know still what kind of shite <laughs> is she in. And he, she was like, you don't got the vision that you think you got because you... You, you wouldn't you, be asking yeah, me if you, you, if you had people on the streets like you said you did. Yeah, you, you would already be telling yeah, me you what I'm know. doing. So, he tells her, whatever you in, once I find out, I'm going to lift up my boots and I'm going to crush it. And she said, when you lift up your boot, when it comes back down, you better be prepared for a fight. So I'm like, are oh. you, was you telling Walter, if he fuck what you got going on, I'm I'll take you out myself. That's, that's what I took from it. That's what you took to it. <laughs> I took that from it. So then he decides that after that conversation, he decides to tell Vic, I need you to be on your sister to find out what she doing. And Vic was like, you know what? These little tactics that you trying to do with her. Doesn't they work. work. She's they smart. have never worked. So Vic, <laughs> yeah, he said never <laughs> worked. Never worked. So Vic switched the, the script on him. Was like, and what else, Dad? I'm gonna be with Gloria. I don't care what you say. 
how you say it, when you say it, I'm going to be with Gloria. And, so, and of course, Walt was that long as I'm alive, you, <laughs> you ain't. And I'm like, come on, Walter. I'm like, every time he gets in these kids' presence, you want them to come closer and push the business, yeah. but you keep on talking skit. And even Polly told you that. Yeah, because like, Polly is Polly was skit. like, why you keep on pushing them away? Every time they come, you pushing them away. Mm -hmm. And then come to find out, because we actually thought that Gloria was dead. We I thought that, that, that Walter had put a hit on Gloria and she's dead, left a note to make Rick think she ran away. But we found this episode that was not the case. She really did take a break. But she, she took a Marso. Now, Walter didn't say this, but he said that call about the girlfriend, go ahead and call it off. And Polly was like, I, I, never, I, put I, I never put it in. <laughs> so he put a hit on her. Yeah. So while we still on on Mr. Walter, Mr. Walter decides to invite Tommy over and tells Tommy that he wants him to be a part of his organization. And Tom was like, if I had known this had been an interview, I, I would have wore, I wore my shirt, my suit that said. And my shirt that says, no, F you. Not a chance in hell. hell. It's like, I said, so in that moment, Walter already let Tommy know, listen, yeah. you won, dude. Like, you, you're you in it to win it. Yep. I want you on my team and in my organization. Yep. You possess something that I don't right now. After I told you that you need to leave, that you need to leave your life. City. And he's still alive. And he left there alive. And Tommy left right from there and went and told Vic, hey, you need to get Gloria and you need to leave. And here now, is a car that's untraceable, traceable. no tr <clears throat> clean, everything. Yep. It's, it's pretty much invisible. Get that girl. And go. And go. And Vic was like, well, how can I trust you? He said, you ain't got to trust, trust me. me for me. Yep. And for you. Trust me, me for because her. Yep. Get that girl out of here. And I was like, Vic gonna buck it up. Vic yeah. gonna buck it up. Yeah. So I was like, Vic, you need to go right now. And so Vic decides to go. And I don't know how he found Gloria, but he ended up finding Gloria and told her that, hey, we need to run. We I run. guess it went to her house. I guess we running there. far. We running far away from here. But I could feel like that something yeah, they was about out there. to happen. So he got a visit from Polly. And Polly told him that, hey, Tommy came over to the house to your dad. But Polly made it look like that Tommy was going to be working with um, yeah, Walter. Yeah, he didn't tell the whole and, story. Yeah, and Vic was like, I knew I couldn't, I trust, knew him. I couldn't trust him. So when they got in the truck and they would start getting ready to go away. Because they didn't take the vehicle that, that Tommy, Tommy told them. They took, he took his own. He took his own vehicle. And, of course, like we knew it. That the search was coming and started shooting and got done, they killed Gloria, man. I said, No, I'm not <laughs> Gloria. Gloria. Come on, man. Yeah. No, my Gloria. <laughs> so now I'm trying to figure out now who is Vic going to blame? Because you remember, Walter was the one that put it into motion mm -hmm. for the search to come back for revenge. Mm -hmm. And then Polly told, um, told Vic that Tommy. Came over to the house, so who he gonna blame? Yeah, he broke down. He's like, no, yeah. Gloria, no, no, no. So is he gonna blame his dad, or is he gonna blame both of them, or is now he gonna really abandon his dad and, and go fully with, go in with, with Tommy, Tommy now? I think at first he's going to blame Tommy because he already thinks that it was a setup from the jump. Then when he realized that it was not Tommy and what was really happening is that he was really trying to protect him for real. Right. He going he gonna to jump bail and be over there with Tommy. And I think Gloria, I mean not Gloria, Lord have mercy. Claudia and um, Vic going to team up and kill Walter. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, got, that, I got that feeling too. Yeah. yeah. There's no other way around it. Oh, Pauly. Or oh, one of them. Cause Paulie's sick of Walter's shit. Yeah, cause he's st he's staring up stuff, and I'm wondering, like I was wondering now, like because of the disappointment that he had on his face when the doctor said you're gonna be around for a little while longer, you knowing what you did with the Serbs, so you thought you go, do you think he thought he had an exit plan from that? I think and leave them to deal with that skit. I do. I, I do. That, if that's the case, that's some selfish skit right there, man. Yeah, it's like that's he's selfish. It's like he took his hand and said, and now you deal with it. And that the kids got to deal with the sins of the father. Hey. Huh. Baby, ain't, ain't nothing changed since the beginning of time. No, 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 no. All right, y'all. This 
This was the scene of the night. Yes, it was. When we saw when Tommy was following D-Rock, guess, you know, trying to make sure he is up on the up and up, because we saw later on, you know, later in the episode when D-Rock came to him was like, hey, I, I want you to put me on. And Tommy was like, why did you keep on hiding? I can see you, man. And he's like, I got eyes in the back of my head. He said, you know, that would be pretty weird. Yeah. So Tommy found D-Rock's little tackle box. And when he went in the tackle box, he saw the picture of JP and him on the picture. So now he knows that's his nephew. Yup. So, and his nephew, real facts, this boy has been following Tommy around for the reason that we think it's a it's gonna be a family reunion, y'all. Yeah, that's this this Over right here. Some cooking some dally. Right. This is what's gonna bring the family back together. Yeah, because D-Ron yeah. said I'm good with them numbers, bro. Yeah, man. And he like me. I, I love numbers. I I, I love numbers. So, uh, this was a little sad part about the episode that Kate's mom died in God. this episode too, man. It was like, God darn it, I said JP was trying his best break, man. Was trying his best to keep her alive. And so he told Tommy, like, you know what? Call Kate. We gotta call Kate. Her mom is dead. And of course, Tommy, like, hell to the now. I, I don't care. We are not Calling going Kate. to call Kate. So he ended up giving Tommy a box of pictures and a flash drive of that video that they had. And so we saw in the episode where Tommy was, he looked at <laughs> he looked time. at the video, and then he looked on his phone and he had Kate's number pulled up. And I thought that he was getting ready to call Kate because we saw Kate and the phone ringing. Like, and the then when she this? answered the phone, it wasn't Tommy; it was JP. And JP said, it's "This, this is your son." And she was like, <gasps> "He should have said the one that you walked away right. from." Yeah. yeah no. But she had to look like, dang. How did you find me? How did, how did you get my number? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because you just can't look up a phone. Up, look yeah. it up in the yellow pages. Nah, nah, <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> Speaking of, we got a yellow pages the other day in the mail. It's like, yeah. Do y'all still get those? Y'all get yellow get pages? Thinner and thinner. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't like this when we were little. Nah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the episode, man. Like we said, it, it was good. A good mm -hmm. setup for next week. To see, like, what's going to happen with old cuz and Gary. <sighs> and see what Vic going to do. That Gloria's dead. Um, how that's going to affect Tommy. Because Tommy right. really still loves Gloria. Uh, mm -hmm. Is Walter, is, is them kids going to go after Walter now? Because uh, they can't, they, their dad is an enemy to them now. For real, for real. And, yes. and Polly is trying to tell him that. And he just won't listen to Polly. Polly was like, I would love to have kids like you Like guys. yours, yeah. Like, Dang. <laughs> But yeah, man, as always, y'all get down in the comments. Let us know what y'all thought about this week of power. And we'll see y'all next week. Peace.